You were there. I already told you that. Velasco, what were you doing at a murder scene in 2003? Do I got to get my union lawyer? Because I feel like I might need a lawyer. No need for that. All we want is the truth, all right? Not half, not a trip. I was just a kid. I didn't have the benefit of going up middle class in Ann Arbor. How do you know where I'm from? My parents were not intellectuals. Wait, you looked into my background? Duarte and I were talking about how you've got to stick up your ass. Don't talk about Okay, both of you guys shut up. All right, it's getting late. Velasco, I'm not going to ask you again. How'd you wind up at a murder scene? My first job was delivering bread in Juarez, okay? And one day, I met a guy on my route that offered me and my boy, Chili, a job. He said that if we go through the training, we'd be security guards. It was 180 a week. I was 15 years old. You weren't even old enough to drive. Like I said, we grew up different. Let him finish, Churlish. So they sent us to a camp. It turned out to be a school for sicarios. For hitmen. And the guy that recruited me said that the only way to leave was in a body bag. So me and my boy Chili we were there for three months training how to use weapons. And then as a final test, they made us go to Fort Worth. And so I go, gun in hand, and I, I was ready to do the hit. And as soon as the sun comes out, I, I, uh, I lost my nerve, I couldn't do it. Chili could. He covered for me, for the cartel. I, I didn't really belong. So you ran? Yeah, even here in New York, still checking my surroundings. Is this the first time you told that story to someone other than that banger? Yeah, it feels good to get it off my chest. Still, you're loyal to a killer.